Today I'm going to be taking this $149 Pottery Barn wreath and DIYing it for you for a total of $11. Hi guys, welcome to Refreshing Motherhood. If you are new here, my name is Taylor and I'm so excited to have you. Today I am really thrilled to be participating in a collaboration with a bunch of other ladies here on YouTube. We are each taking a Christmas decor item from Pottery Barn and we are hacking it for you. So today I'm going to show you how to make a gorgeous, gorgeous wreath for pennies to the dollar compared to Pottery Barn's price tag. I love, love, love everything that Pottery Barn has. I think their decor is amazing and beautiful and timeless, but I cannot afford the price that comes along with things from Pottery Barn. So if you're like me and you wanna save some money this Christmas season, stay tuned because I have a super easy hack for you for this wreath. So I promise you this is probably going to be the easiest DIY you've ever done. The steps are so simple. There's so few of them. Anybody can do this. First step is gathering your supplies. So the base of your wreath is going to be this pine wreath. I actually purchased this from Hobby Lobby. And if you're familiar with Hobby Lobby, you know that they have alternating weeks where certain departments of their store go on sale for 50% off. So I waited for their Christmas items to go on sale for that 50% off. And I purchased this wreath for a grand total of $5. Super, super affordable. I also got from Pottery Barn this frosted decor piece. I don't know what exactly you would call this, but it has branches, it has berries, it has pine cones on it. And I thought it was perfect and flowed really nicely with Pottery Barn's version. And I liked that it was a little bit different. I, I liked the berries and I thought I could put my own spin on Pottery Barn's wreath. So I also purchased this and this was again, part of their Christmas decor, 50% off. So I also got this for $5. So these two items totaled $10. Now the other items that you're going to need are some Christmas ornaments. I got these simple ball ornaments from the dollar store, so I only spent a dollar on this pack of ornaments, and I have silver ones here, and also brown. I thought that the brown went really pretty with the pine cone, so I went ahead and picked some of those out. And then you're gonna need a hot glue gun, you're gonna need some scissors or pliers, and then you're also going to need some type of name tag. So if you see on Pottery Barn's version, they actually have a copper looking name plate that says the Millers on it, or the Coolies. So I am going to create one. This is just out of paper, and I actually liked the gray. I thought it picked up the frosted really nicely. So I cut a circle out of gray paper, and I am going to do some calligraphy on top of it that says the Coolies and use this as my name plate. So super cheap, super affordably, and it's something that you can switch out if you wanna give this as a gift for somebody. I think that would be really nice, and then you can write whoever's name on it. So that's all you're gonna need, super simple. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do is actually prep our items. So I am going to cut all of the branches and pine cones off of here so I have individual pieces. So go ahead and do that and cut them in as many pieces as you see fit. So obviously this is kind of one long piece so I'm gonna use that individually. And then these pine cones are individual so I'm going to cut those off just like that. So you want to break down this extra branch piece into as many small pieces as possible. Now that I have all these pieces broken down, I'm going to start prepping my ornament. All I wanna do is take off this piece. We don't need that. It's just gonna make it more difficult to glue these bad boys on. So however you can, just take these ornament, take these tops off. Now it is time to prep our wreath. So this wreath comes pretty flattened. So what you wanna do is take all of these individual branches and just start fluffing them. So as you can see, this wreath has already come to life and now the most important part is placing all of your decorative items. So you're gonna take your branches and you're gonna just start placing them without gluing them, placing them throughout your wreath until you find a pattern. So just for reference, I'm gonna have this be kind of right in here. I think that looks so pretty. And now I'm gonna just go piece by piece and start gluing these items in. And this might seem like, okay, well now you placed everything in and now what am I gonna do with all these ornaments? But you're just gonna go and just work in layers. So work in one section at a time, glue this section, then glue this section and just kind of go all the way around 
to make sure you don't lose your spot. Alrighty guys, this is how the wreath turned out. I went ahead and glued on this little nameplate that I made. It's done, like this was so simple, so easy. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please, please, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter if you guys make this wreath. It's just at Taylor Cooley. I would absolutely love to see your recreations. Be sure to check out all the other moms and their DIY hacks in the description down below. I know you're gonna love them and you're gonna have a house full of super inexpensive, very, very beautiful Christmas decor. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing holiday season. Let me know in the comments below if there's any other Christmas related videos that you'd like to see from me and I will see you in my next one. Bye.